It is not a question of if, but when. It is a mathematical certainty that one of these days the Earth will be on course to be hit by an asteroid. The good news is that, unlike the dinosaurs, the last species wiped out by a giant space rock, we are actually much better at knowing our circumstances and have the ability to defend ourselves. Hello and welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, the channel that looks to answer exactly those. I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we are asking, how would we stop an asteroid from hitting? Earth. When it comes to asteroids, size matters. There are a number of different cosmic bodies that enter our orbit each day. Daily, the Earth is pounded with 100 tons of cosmic dust. An asteroid is actually the name of the rock before it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Usually, rocks smaller than the size of a bus will burn up as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. Any rock that actually makes it through to the ground are called meteors. Every so often, a meteorite big enough to cause some small local damage hits, like the Russian meteor of 2013, which was the size of a six-story building. This injured 1,600 people and generated a shockwave similar to a 500 kilotron explosion. Every 2,000 years, a meteoroid the size of a football pitch smashes into the Earth, causing significant damage. And every few million years, a civilization-threatening meteor hits the Earth. A civilization ender is an asteroid bigger than half a mile in diameter. Guess when we could see one of these passing dangerously close to Earth? Well, any day really. So how would we stop anything big enough to pummel us from, you know, actually pummeling us? You may be pleased to know that there are actually a group of people called Planetary Defenders, which sounds pretty cool. NASA's Planetary Defense arm runs near-Earth object observations, which are registered with Smithsonian's Minor Planet Center. At the moment, around 150,000 asteroids are registered, but the defenders think that there are possibly hundreds of thousands more that we can't yet see. Currently, there are about 1,000 civilization enders on our radar, with a further 1,600 rocks that could kill millions if they hit. The good news is, we are pretty in tune with what's happening around us in the solar system, and so the second we spotted something coming, there would be a number of defensive options. If a civilization ender, or even something with the potential to cause wild scale death and destruction, was on course to hit the Earth, there are three options of how to deal with it. Kick, tug, or nuke, the latter being the least desirable. The kick would involve aiming a kinetic impactor at the asteroid to knock it slightly off course, meaning it would pass by rather than hit the Earth. Tug is a method NASA hopes to trial as part of a forthcoming 2020 asteroid redirect mission. This would involve launching non-manned spacecraft to act as a gravity attractor, with enough mass to pull the asteroid towards it and away from its original path towards the Earth. The robot arms of this spacecraft would then bring the boulder to a stable orbit around our moon where astronauts could study it. The third option, nuke it, refers to a more Hollywood style approach of shooting the asteroid out of the sky, breaking it up and hoping that the smaller chunks burn up in our atmosphere. However, the hypervelocity of an asteroid travelling towards Earth makes an exact hit hard. Alternatively, there has been some discussion of actually using a nuclear bomb to blow up the asteroid before it enters our orbit. But this is also problematic and expensive. Even if the asteroid was broken into smaller pieces by a nuclear explosion, would they be small enough to not cause damage to several areas of Earth? It seems like the best options are deflection, the tug and the kick, which are things that NASA are putting a lot of money and research into. The worry is, the current people in charge of NASA funding include a number of climate deniers who may be less interested in the necessity to keep an eye on what is coming at us from space. But hey, fingers crossed. There are also other international teams of cosmologists looking out for us. The good news is, for now anyway, there are a whole team of people out there whose job it is to watch what's coming, so we will know very far in advance and hopefully be very equipped to deal with whatever is thrown at us, quite literally. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Life's Biggest Questions. What do you think you would do if an asteroid was heading towards Earth? Run and hide? Nuke it? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'm Rebecca Felgate, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for this channel. For now, remember to stay curious, stay alert and never ever stop questioning.